Okay, what's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's video, we are starting off with something that they're special, okay? But before we get to that, what I want you guys to do uh, for me is, very simply, put something in the comment section down below that you are thankful for. Put something that you are happy for, grateful for, that is going on in your life right now. There's a lot of negativity going on in the world, um, and understandably so. However, I want this channel to be a very positive place, and so, drop something down in the comments. Let me know something good that's going on in your life, no matter how big, no matter how small. You got to try and find these things in life, you know? It doesn't matter how easy or how hard or how big or how small that thing is to find, every single day you should be trying to find something that you are grateful for. So, with that said, let's get the video started. <laughs> To be honest, if you can make it look like that, yeah. then then perfect. It's yeah. Spray or you know whatever. It doesn't make you don't have to have them all the same. Mm -hmm. If you don't want them all the same, khaki black, charcoal black. Yep. Keep the pastel black as well. <laughs> exciting times, people. Exciting times. Exciting times. Keep your eyes peeled on all social media for plenty soon to come do do that toy huh 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 it here i can't reach it has it here please i can't get it i actually can't get it and sit <laughs> Cook it up. So my protein actually sent me this package over the weekend. Um, I had no idea that this was coming. They have just surprised us with uh, with some stuff. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's clothing or I think it's clothing to be fair. But I'm not actually 100% sure. It's pretty heavy. Come on. You ruined my dramatic thingy. So it looks like we have an outfit here. I don't know what the outfit actually is. Let me take this hat off. Um, MP men's double tape tricot joggers. MP men's double tape tricot shorts. MP men's double tape. Okay, I'm sensing a double tape theme here. All of this stuff here is a medium. Um, I'm around about 179 pounds. I'm around about five foot six. And this is a bit of me. This is what I thought it was. I thought this was like um, the oversize, um, because obviously my protein sell like a ton of stuff, right? A ton of stuff. It's impossible for me to kind of keep up with the names of absolutely everything. But this is what I thought it was. And do you know how with my latest um, package, it was all supplements, it was all protein and protein snacks and stuff. I didn't pick up any clothing this month. Um, and so it's nice to, you know, be at the end of the day surprised with a package like this. So cheers, my protein. These joggers feel awesome. However, they are a bit long for me. But you guys know me. I'm a shorts guy at heart. I wear shorts whenever and wherever I can. So, here we are. Oh, they match! They match! They match, they match. <laughs> guys, guys, check me out. Check me out. Do I look cool? Do I look cool? Hang on, hang on. Do I look cool? I feel cool. Nice little surprise, thanks my protein. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing now is actually using the new wobs. I need to go and fetch it from the post office. But wherever we actually put the, where's the? I actually missed the package from uh, Royal Mail. Purely because I was at Charlotte's this weekend and there was no one in the house to pick the order up. That video will be live this week at some stage as well. Change the plan. The old man actually has the little ticket thing that I couldn't find. Um, so he's going to pick up the wobs. Meanwhile, I will have a nice pre-workout meal of 60 grams of oats. Boiling water straight in there. Uh, I'm gonna have this as a pre-workout meal with the salted caramel whey from uh, my protein. And then it's wobs time. So um, you guys can wait for that video in a couple of days time, potentially tomorrow as of when this comes out. This video, 
training um, at home or training where, wherever you are um, when your gym is closed. Obviously, there's a lot going on right now with the whole coronavirus thing um, and it's not great. And I did a poll on my Instagram yesterday um, and it was actually probably the most voted on poll I've ever had. <laughs> I had like well over 150 votes and I've only got a few thousand followers so that's like a lot to me. And I said, in your opinion, should gyms in the UK close? And it was a whopping 69% um, that voted no. Now I think there's a lot of people that were voting what they wanted. You know, there was a lot of personal trainers, fitness people that obviously don't want their gyms to close. But you have to kind of be able to prepare for if it does close. And so that's why I'm making today's video. Obviously I'm very fortunate to have the home gym but a lot of you guys won't have that luxury and so I wanted to make a video that I mean I'm going to be training in there myself and so it's kind of contradictory but like I wanted to just make a video to hopefully help somebody uh, have a decent session if their gym kind of closes you know Oops. making them in the microwave today purely because I cannot be bothered with washing up the other pots and so a bowl it is Salted caramel goodness. Man, this workout's going to be good. I love having a big bowl of oats for a train. Just feel full, energized, ready for the session, you know? Oh man. I'm not even gonna try and eat that. I've just put it near my mouth and it's scalding. <laughs> title okay let's say your gym is closed or is going to close and you have nowhere else to go nothing else to do right first things you should be thinking of are right okay how active can I be in this time unless you're on like lockdown like Italy or something in which case you just kind of kind of in your home for well as long as they say really but if that's not the case for you and you can still go out and about, think, right, okay, first of all, do I live near a park? Do I live somewhere near I can go for a long walk? Do I live near hills? Do I live near, you know, some sort of free outdoor activities, right? If I go down the park where we walk Jesse Pup, then actually there's a dipping bar, there's a pull-up bar, there's like a cycle thing that you can go on, there's, you know, monkey bars where you can do pull-ups and stuff. You can still do stuff. No, it's not ideal and you can't be benching 100 kilos every week or every other day or whatever. But, you can do something if you live nearby one of those kinds of things. So that's the first thing you should be thinking of. right now do not let this discourage you you can still if you know that you're not going to be as active then decrease your calorie intake it's not going to be forever and it's not going to be like you know it's not going to be permanent however if you are dieting for a competition or if you're doing the summer training competition like me and you know that you're not going to be able to go out to your gym you're not going to be able to go to your your, your treadmill at your gym and do your cardio decrease your calories it's going to be annoying and you know you're going to be at home and you're going to want to eat however if you have that goal that's just something you're going to have to do as like a, a temporary measure you know alternatively you could i mean i know this isn't going to be an option for everybody you could start to build up 
a little bit of a home gym, right? And I don't mean take up an entire room, I don't mean take five years building it up like we have. What you could do is pick up just a little, you know those little triangle pyramid sets, like one of these. Pick something like this up that's going to allow you to do a few exercises, some shoulder press, some lateral raises, work on your rear delts, you can sit down in a chair, do some leg extensions, all this kind of stuff. Let me know if you want me to do a more in-depth kind of tutorial of the exercises that you could do at home without a gym, because I know that there's a lot of people even in the UK that aren't actually going to the gym right now because they just don't want to. It's like, well, it's, it's, it's dirty and germy and stuff. It's understandable. Like you can take your hand sanitizing gel, but at the end of the day, that's out of your control how clean that equipment is and how clean the other people that are using the gym are. That's out of your control. What you can control is what's within your own home and stuff like that. So if that's going to be the case and you want to stay at home, consider a home workout or you could buy a kettlebell or you could buy a small stack of dumbbells and I mean I cannot talk highly enough of these power blocks however they're like 250 quid but these were the first thing I ever bought so this before I had any of the leg press any of the cables any of the rack the first thing I ever bought the first thing of my home gym was these power blocks and I cannot recommend them enough it's been like five six years now and they are still going strong and they ain't going to be free and finished anytime soon so can, you can kind of consider it a long-term investment if something's going to happen again in the future i mean let's hope not but let's be honest it could be the case and then you've just got these things at home that you can use alternatively go to argos or order them from amazon and you can get them for like 20 quid just these kinds of things guys like don't let it stop you completely because there are things that you have to that you can do you just have to be a little bit more creative, you know? I know this kind of goes without saying, but I feel like because I'm putting it out on social media, um, I need to say it. You know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional or anything like that, right? Listen to the advice. Rather than what people are saying on social media, listen to the advice from your government, from your local kind of health professionals and all this kind of stuff. Um, rather than listening to the hype from what Julie says down the street, um, listen to the official facts, the official advice and all this kind of stuff. Um, myself, I'm just trying to kind of release a video in the meantime um, to keep people happy, keep people positive um, in the meantime, because let's be real, it, it can be a, a difficult time when you forced to kind of stay in your own home. Um, so yeah, just look at the facts before you do anything really. <laughs> say is really not going to be everybody's cup of tea and if I'm honest it's not my cup of tea either however if I was in this situation and I was still trying to lose weight or whatever and my gym was or whatever I was just trying to stay active while my gym was closed what I would do is stuff like <laughs> you guys are gonna be like Ugh, but it's, it's kind of cardio based right think back to basics I was speaking to a mate of mine and he used to run kind of camps and stuff and he used to have to do these bodyweight sessions because they were with kids. You just gotta think, what would you do? What would you teach a child that isn't old enough to use weights? What kind of physical exercise would you get them to do to be healthy? So you gotta kind of get into a PE teacher kind of mindset, stuff like walkouts, push-ups, sit-ups, all that kind of stuff, bodyweight stuff that you can do, essentially stood from here. Oh, I nearly tripped over my kettlebell, flip neck. So, you know, you can come down for a walkout, you can't see me, add a push-up in there, come back up. You want to do that in between, you can add a squat in, come down, walk out, stuff like that. The biggest thing is to just remain active. That's gonna help you stay positive, it's gonna help you stay, it's basically gonna keep your own morale up and then hopefully others around you because chances are a lot of you are living at home or with family or with your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. And you know, being around each other more is gonna piss you off. And so doing a bit of exercise can kind of help keep the endorphins flow and keep you healthy, keep you positive um, throughout this, let's face it, kind of shitty, difficult time. Um, so there's just just a few kind of ideas. I, I figured I would release this video because, you know, the whole, if it helps one person thing, like, you know, that's, that's done it for me because this is a very difficult time for everybody. Um, you know, there's, I went to Sainsbury's yesterday with Charlotte and even here in the UK where we're not on lockdown, it was just a very 
very hostile kind of environment. Everyone's there like looking for their stuff, getting stocking up and stuff, and it's not, you know, it's not a nice um, environment. So one, I hope you can watch this video and just forget about that kind of stuff um, and just enjoy this video. I hope you have. Um, and two, you know, maybe you can take something away from it. Let me know your thoughts um, in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're doing, what, what's it like in your country? I know you guys watch from all over the world. You know, we've got America, we've got Australia and all that kind of stuff. Let me know, what was it like? Um, I've got friends in, you know, Spain, I've got friends in France, um, and they're currently on lockdown as well. So this video is kind of for, for them, even though they know what they're doing. But anyway, I hope you guys took something from it. And um, don't forget to let me know in the comments. Um, let me know something that you are thankful for today, if you like. It's very easy to kind of get bogged down and be really negative and stuff. So um, let's use these kinds of videos to perk people up. Let's use these videos to keep them going, keep them positive. Um, that's what I want this channel to be. I'm gonna keep on saying it, because you put positive vibes out there, positive vibes come back to you. These videos help me as much as they help you guys. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do me a favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. I am off to the suppliers now to pick up a final sample of uh, of, of some something coming very soon, okay? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. Together we will grow. Stay positive, stay smiling people, and I will see you in the next one.